Hey guys, I just got back from swimming with the sharks. Here's what I learned. Sharks belong to the phylum chordata and the class chondrothys. Chondrothys means cartilage fish. Rays are also in this phylum along with sharks. All chondrothys have a very flexible endoskeleton made of cartilage. The placoid scales of sharks and rays cover their entire body and feel rough when rubbing them one way and smooth when rubbing them the other. All chondrothys have a bilateral symmetry, which means their bodies have symmetry across a single plane. Sharks and rays also have a long fi fibrous rod known as a notochord. This supports their body's structure. In order to eat, larger chondrothys swallow their food whole, while smaller predators bite their food into smaller pieces. Sharks have a U-shaped stomach that takes up about 20% of their entire body. These animals digest their food using very strong acids and enzymes. Their stomachs produce a mush of waste that is taken through the intestines and out. If they cannot digest the food that they swallow, it gets regurgitated. Survival adaptations of sharks include their ability to swim fast without using up a lot of energy. Also, their placoid scales used for protection are able to grow back if they're lost, kind of like teeth. Speaking of teeth, a shark's teeth can change depending on its prey. For example, crab eating sharks have flatter teeth than One sharks that feed on fish. Is a shark's color. The color of their scales can camouflage the shark. Their white bellies blend in with the pale sky when looking up at them. When looking down, the grayish back of the shark looks to be the bottom of the sea. The male shark transfers its sperm into the female through claspers. The female then fertilizes the eggs inside of her body. Most sharks give birth while some lay eggs that will hatch later. A chondrothized litter size can range from one baby to a hundred. Baby sharks are capable of taking care of themselves right away and usually swim away soon after birth. Most sharks have neither small nor extremely primitive brains. About two-thirds of a shark's brain is dedicated to sensory perception. While a shark's brain to body ratio is similar to mammals, some sharks have larger, more complex brains than others. A chondrothys central nervous system is made up of its brain and spinal cord. A network of peripheral nerves is run off of the ner central nervous system, and these nerves transmit information to and from the animal's muscles and organs. Sharks have adapted to living in a wide range of aquatic habitats at various temperatures. While some species inhabit shallow coastal regions, others live in deep waters on the ocean floor and in the open ocean. Some species, like the bull shark, are even known to swim in salt, fresh, and brackish waters. Before you guys swim off to spring break, think about how cool sharks are. Chondrothys have a very flexible cartilage, uh, car, cartilageous. Uh, car, cartilageous. Cartilage.